can't keep your car's air conditioning blowing ice cold. Now, car air conditioning systems are sealed systems, so there isn't that much maintenance, but what little there is, you can easily do to keep your air conditioning cold for years. And the first thing you can do is go to your air conditioning inlet under the hood and take all the leaves and debris that are under there so they don't get sucked up into the vent system. Because if they do and get inside the evaporator where the cold air blows through, it'll clog it up, then water will build up and leak all over the car. And when that happens, it'll also work inefficiently because the evaporator will have a lot of water in it and it'll keep it from dissipating the heat and you won't get as cold air blowing in your face. And speaking about dashes, perhaps the most forgotten thing is a cabin air filter. Many modern cars have a cabin air filter to filter the air going to the air conditioning. In this case, you have to take out the glove box. And in the case of this Toyota, you can just squeeze the side and the whole thing comes out. It's easy in this Toyota because the nubs on the side, you squeeze them in, and then they come off of this piece on the inside, and the whole thing just pops right out. Then the cabin air filter is just hiding in here. You squeeze these two tangs, out it comes. Now, I recently changed this one about a month ago, but as you can see, it's already getting a bunch of dirt in it. So every once in a while, you can just take it out, whack most of the crud out, and then put it back in. And if you're really sensitive, you can buy more expensive ones that have carbon activated filters and they'll get rid of a lot of the stench outside by filtering through the carbon. Just now, since these filters are relatively new inventions, a lot of people don't think about it. So they clog up and when they clog up, your air conditioner will really work poorly. So you want to check them at least every two or three months in the summer when you're using the AC a lot. Then when you're done, you just snap the glove box back in and screw this little dampener back in place so it goes in and out easy and doesn't snap. Now the last thing you want to check are the cooling fans in your radiator to make sure they're working so the AC gets cold. With the car running, turn the AC on full blast, then go under the hood and check the fan. Put your hand, make sure it's blowing plenty of air like this one. And that's important because even though the fan is on the radiator, when you go in front of the radiator, you see the condenser. This is the air conditioning condenser. It has to have air blown through it to make your air get cool when you turn your air conditioning on. And if you have a system like in this Toyota that has two cooling fans, let it run for five or ten minutes with the AC on full blast. And both fans should be blowing hard. If they aren't and only one works, you're going to have a problem in the long run. And in the short run, it's still not going to blow as cold because you don't have enough air circulating. And realize that all these fans may cost over 300 bucks new at the dealer. You can often get entire Chinese made assemblies and both fan units might only cost you about 100 bucks for the pair. And while I'm talking about airflow through the condenser, you notice mine here is all clean. And that's because I just cleaned it off from a trip to Austin where a lot of bugs got stuck in it. Anything that restricts airflow is going to make the air conditioning work poor. So if you have a lot of bugs, just do this. Get a garden hose, hydrate the bugs so they get wet, and wait about 20 minutes. Make sure you get everything nice and wet on the condenser. Then after they're all hydrated, they'll start to come off easier. You just hose them off again, and if any of them stick, you can just get any kind of sponge, and you can just wipe the pieces off. Now while you're at it, you want to check your fan belt to see how the fan belt that drives the air conditioner looks. You don't want to see a bunch of little cracks, and you don't want to see that it's slipping and making squealing noises. When you have a fan belt like this that has lots of little cracks in it, you need to change it before it starts to slip, and it can make the compressor burn out if it's always slipping and turning on and off. Fan belts don't cost much. Compressors cost a lot, so change out the belt when it starts to wear. And the last simple thing for your air conditioner to do is to check your radiator fluid. Because as nutty as it sounds, if your radiator coolant is low and your car's running hotter, modern cars have sensors and they'll actually turn the air conditioning compressor off in order to keep the car from overheating. That's why the systems in cars are called HVAC, for heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and cooling, because they all work in conjunction with each other and a problem in one can affect a problem in the other. So if you want to stay a cool cat in your car, now you know how to maintain your car's air conditioner. If you've got any car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel. And I'll answer them as soon as I'm done redecorating my garage. Well, you all complained that it was too messy, so hey, I cleaned it out entirely, including the roof. <laughs>